Hello, YouTube friends. Welcome to another unjarring. I have been getting these $10 jars at a little thrift store. And sometimes successfully, sometimes not as much. I have found real silver. I found a tiny piece of gold once or twice. So let's see what's in here. It might be junk. It might be something good. We're about to find out. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody. Let me know what your favorites are. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would. I'll be right back. They seem to always put something very sparkly on top. Oh, are those earrings? Wow. <laughs> if so, those are really big earrings. Yep. Wow. I would totally wear these, but I can tell that they won't look good on me because they're very, very heavy. And as you get older, you know, the lobes pull and all that. And uh, so heavy earrings now look terrible on me. So if I wear really big earrings, which I do often, they have to be light. So those are no good for me, but they are super, super cool. All right. This appears to be ivory. Hmm. This looks pretty old too. Sorry, the focus is all banged up. Yep, I think that's ivory. It has some damage problems. Can't sell it on eBay anyhow. Maybe I'm too close. Let me back up a little bit. Okay. Oh, this is really pretty. This is one of those China things made in England. Denton, okay. I've had this many times before. I've sold it before. I think the last jar I had also had a, a piece like that in there. So this is likely that same donation. Ah, these are plastic. Okay. I was just curious on these. I thought maybe they were glass, but they are plastic. And it's missing. It's, oh, maybe it isn't. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. It's missing its thing. You know, it's sort of like tongue and groove. These are pretty though. Very, very pretty. All right, I'll take a little bit out, a little bit more out, and then we'll, we'll go through what we have. Here are some more plastic beads. It's kind of pretty. Fold over clasp. No mark. And here's some more plastic beads. Let's just get these out of the way. Okay, this one isn't missing anything. Plastic, these are pretty clean, pretty nice. Plastic, always nice and colorful and also light, so it's comfortable. Here's a Timex. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Anybody remember those? And then they'd have like a, I don't know, like they drive a car over it or something and it would the, the, um, this part would be the crystal part would be all broken, but the, the watch would still be ticking. Anyway, showing my age, <laughs> showing my age. Who remembers that? Okay. It's a Caravelle by Bulova. Sometimes this name brand can sell, but I don't know about that one. I think it's kind of doesn't have anything special enough going for it. And this is wood, nice little religious bracelet. And 
this is a tassel necklace. This is not old. It is pretty though. These are not plastic. Sometimes with these tassels, if they're not stored carefully, they get kind of all shaggy looking like this one. Not, not great. That's good. That's pretty. I like that. I wonder if this is silver. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, let me check. I don't believe it is. It's pretty though. I like that one. And here are some sort of generic hoop earrings. These have little rhinestones. There's a missing one. Yeah, that's what I figured. Just checking for a mark. Often with these, the mark is there, but I don't see any marks. And this is, huh, that's interesting. That might be pretty on actually with the dangles. This was probably handcrafted, I'm thinking, or I don't know, maybe somebody brought it back from the islands or maybe it's just something that somebody bought in a department store. Hmm, I think that one's kind of interesting. Oh, let's see what this little pin is. Um, oh, okay, it was a wishbone, it's broken right there. Oh man, no broken stuff, no. I did complain a little bit not too long ago because I had two jars that I videotaped that were so awful. I didn't even put them on my YouTube channel. That's how bad they were. And then the last one, somebody put, you know what? This one isn't that much better, <laughs> but you didn't see the one that I didn't put up. That was bad, bad. Oops. Oh, I remember these. Guardian angel, wear an angel on your shoulder to guide you through the days and nights and brighten your life. That's very sweet. I remember everybody had those in the, when were those big? In the 90s maybe? Or the, the 2000s? Uh, what's this one? Oh, that's cool. Anthropomorphic sliver moon. It doesn't seem like it's silver, does it? Uh, I will double check. I don't see any marks, so this is likely not, it, it kind of doesn't look it, but I just thought I would check just in case. You never know, right? That one's kind of shot. Oh, this is pretty. Look at these soft colors. These are plastic. And some of the, the plastic beads here are missing their pearl coating. I don't know if you can see that. That's a perfect example of it right there paint flaking off. That happens in over time. Hey, a stick pin. Huh. This one sure looks familiar. I wonder if I got this one in a, in an older jar as well. I'm just going to feel for marks. I usually feel with my finger. Nah, nothing there. And here's an Alex and Ani that is either dirty or well, it's got some problems right there. But let's see. Oh, this is a birthstone one. November, right? I think yellow topaz is November. Well, let's see what this is. This, uh, this might be sterling. Let me look. It is. Hey, yay. One for the little guy. Terrific. Okay. This is cool too, actually. I like it. Maybe we'll put this one on our neck. And let's see, do I feel like untangling these? Not really. Oh, it kind of did it on its own. Look at that. And those are rhinestones. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but it's missing its clasp. Okay. 
And here's one of these things. I have many of these, or several of them, I should say. I find those from time to time. And let's see about this puppy right here. It has this earring on it. That's not supposed to be there. All right, no findings, I guess. Not sure, that one may be real. I'll look into that further. Oh, here's the matching bracelet to that plastic thing. One of these fun Christmas bell earrings. And this, nope, I guess not. I was gonna say, I wonder if that one's real. Let's see, maybe I'll dump some more or maybe the rest, let's see. Oh boy, something's really jammed in here, okay. All right, there it goes. This is cute. I have sold these before, um, the ones that say Danbury Mint. Let's see if there's a dozen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. Let's see if it is a Danbury Mint. Oh, doesn't matter. The pin is broken. Oh, that's a shame. That's a cute item. And that looks like that's marked with something. Let me see what it says. Wow, that was stamped badly. I can't read what it says, but you can probably tell it's not quality. It's not high quality or anything. So we ain't going to sweat that one. And here's a, a watch that's working. Oh, Amazon Essentials. Really? This doesn't seem like a watch. It seems like a a stopwatch kind of thing, which you don't need anymore if you have your phone or an iWatch or whatever. I love my iWatch so much, and I got one for my mom. They actually sell them in Walmart, believe it or not, so I was able to get one like that wasn't super, super expensive, but it's really good for people like my mother who, you know, has a heart thing, and it can tell you what your heart rate is. I like to use it at the gym take a look at my heart rate and how many calories burned and all that stuff. Uh, these are nice. That's an interesting back. This is the first time I've ever seen a butterfly back like this. That is cool. That's really cool. I like these earrings too, actually. They're certainly not real. You can tell by, well, you could tell because they would not be in this jar <laughs> probably, but um, you can tell by the color that they're not real. Here's an earring I like a lot, and I could switch those out to pierced. Hopefully the other one is here. Oh, here's a cute butterfly. Look at this. This looks newer, kind of like a Walmart thing. That's actually pretty. I like that. We'll put that one on our neck. That's lovely. And here's yet another butterfly. This is another not particularly well-made one. As you can see, let me just make sure that's not marked. Nope, it isn't plastic stone right there. That's kind of cool. It's got a mod look to it. And here's some glass earrings. I have some very, very similar to this, actually. I guess those are lamp worked. Yeah, they got a little a little design uh, and a little chip. I think that's a chip. Oh, well. These are nice too, that they have the, the little stone, little yellow stone. Hopefully you can see that. And, oh, I have seen these before. They're like photographs kind of things and behind glass. That's kind of spooky, a black and white crow in a field. And this is a, kind of a plain necklace. Let's see what this one is. Oh, okay. That's one of those painted uh, kind of things. It's just like a free form. It almost looks like batik fabric. And here's some Mickey Mouse. Sometimes Mickey Mouse stuff sells. Let's see if these are in nice condition. They seem to be. These are cute. 
I actually um, am putting together a lot of Disney stuff. Okay, these are not Mark Disney, are they? Okay. Counterfeit. Counterfeit. Mickey Mouse stuff should say Disney on it, and I don't see the the officially licensed situation there. It seems like it's in nice condition. That's pretty. Mm, a little bit scratched up. And, oh boy, who who is this? I'll show it to you in a minute. Hold on. BB, I guess? Uh, HBB? I'm not sure what is going on with that. See, if I ever made jewelry and I needed a logo, it wouldn't be something that people had to try to figure out what it says. Hmm, not sure. I would want it to be clear, but that's just me. It seems like a nicely made bracelet though. And here's some more China things. I think China is glazed porcelain, right? Well, that's a miracle that these aren't broken because they're all jammed down into that jar. Very breakable. That's a nice condition. And here is Paul Jardin. Is that how you say that? Or do you just say Jardin? Me, I would probably just say Jardin because, you know, pardon my French <laughs> and all of that, literally. These are very nice. These are not jet for sure because they're newer, but those are pretty. Black always goes with everything, right? When I used to live in Manhattan years ago, sometimes I would go to this beach on Long Island called Jones Beach, and you could always tell the New Yorkers because even on a 90 degree, 90 degree day, everybody would be wearing black, including me, <laughs> including me and my roommate. Used to be very funny. Oh, that's very groovy. I like that. Leah Sophia. Okay. That's actually cool. And I could tell right away that it's a better piece because of its weight. This is nice and heavy. You can also see the, the clean lines, if you will. Lines in a circle. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's nice. We'll put that on our neck for sure. And here's another one of these. This is kind of ruined and wrecked and awful condition wise. A little penguin that's actually cute okay and this we'll put this one on our neck I bet you that one will be prettier than you think plastic some plastic stuff a stretchy another stretchy the problem with these they kind of like dry rot or something over time and they lose their stretch or they've just been worn to death too and this looks like this was a something that a crafter made. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? We'll put this more in the light. I don't know what's going on with my lights today. It seems like it's not lit enough, even though this photo box has a lot of light. Ooh, a little bug. Let me see who this is. That says SC. So is this a, a newer Sarah Coventry? Does anybody know? I like it. That is really cute. I love little bug jewelry. Some 80s earrings that have seen better days. These are adorable for a kid. I think I might give these to my niece. These are really fun. <laughs> Look at the bats. And they have a little bit of sparkle. And sugar skulls. Those are cute. It doesn't look like this other earring is here, unfortunately. Of course, the other ones are all gonna have matches, <laughs> but not the one I want. Here's the breast cancer ribbon, a little angel, another little angel. Wow, that one's in horrible condition. Really wrecked. It looks like it went through the washing machine or something. All right, some more little tack pins, an angel. Oh, that's cute. A little koala bear or something. Yeah. Adorable. This, <laughs> this is actually fun. Not on this chain. I bet you the lady who put the jars together just like stuck it on this chain. It's missing a stone. That's why it's in this jar. 
That's really terrifying and very cool. See how iridescent it is? I guess that's the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. I remember reading Through the Looking Glass years ago. I read it and um, it's super, super creepy. It's way creepier than the movie or anything. I love Irish dancing, especially the chess pieces. I thought the whole thing was was terrifying, actually. Lewis Carroll, very famously, an, an op opium addict, I think. So that's where his, his wild imagination came from. He's like tripping and stuff. Um, okay, well, oh, the Bronx Zoo. Well, that's one of those things. Is that called lenticular? Not sure. Uh, I love my cat. Oh, that one doesn't change. Okay. Mm, cute. All right. Oh, very new. Okay. Uh, wow, I did a bad job polishing my nails today. <laughs> Sorry. hope that's not bugging anybody. It's bugging me, that little white that I got there. Uh, all right. Let's put some stuff on our neck and uh, then that'll be that. Here's our creepy Cheshire cat. I don't mind it with this chain, but I don't like the gold tone and the silver tone together. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'll stick that on a better chain. That's really fun. Here's our pretty butterfly. I'm just trying to see if there's missing stones. I don't see any. Uh, oh, I see. I don't think those are stones. That's when they just sort of make that look like stone. I was looking around here, not at the AB ones. It looks pretty good. That's actually really cute. I love the shape of this. We figured we would like this one. This is very basic. I love how wide this is. That would look great with lots and lots of different outfits. It's in nice condition, just silver tone, but I don't see a lot of wear or scratches or anything like that. So this one is very, very nice. Here's our Leah Sophia. This one is cool. And you know, for $10, all the pieces I got, if I had a yard sale and I sold everything for 50 cents, I would get my money back and then some, but I don't know if I'm going to be having yard, <laughs> yard sale anytime soon, but just saying. This one's neat. I really like this one a lot. The couple times we had yard sales here, it was really fun. And we met a lot of cool people and we, I also made a bunch of money, but I don't have the time. That's always my issue is time. So it's kind of hard. I usually just donate stuff or throw it in an auction. If anything's good enough, I'll sell it individually. Like this sterling silver necklace, for example, this is pretty cool. I like how there's two strands here and only one here. That's not real turquoise or anything. Maybe dyed howlite or something. Not sure. But uh, I dig it. Yeah, I like this one. I, oh, I see. You son of a gun. Even though I like that, it had two chains on one side and only one on the other. One did break off. Okay, that explains why it was in this jar. Well kind of a bummer. Uh, still a pretty necklace, however. Thank you so much, as always, for joining me. I'm so glad you came to my video today. Please let me know what you think below. Hit the subscribe button. It helps me out and it doesn't cost you a thing. I hope to catch you on the next one. Have an awesome day, everybody, okay? Cheers.